Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another box opening here on Meta Bros. I'm Moldy Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Welcome back, everyone, to the Wilderness Tops Ooh. box break. You got two. Mm -hmm. I got two. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to open them all. That's This is all that we have, by the way. This is our entire uh, pull, trove, whatever. I what? have two more. Huh? Yeah, I have two more. What? Yep. Yep, I got four total, but two. Are you that talking I'm about the wilderness? Right now. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. My wilderness just showed up, and I opened it. And was like, oh, four. So you setting those Great. aside for collector's sake? For, I might open them. We'll see. But yeah, for now, those are in the shelf. What about your original tops boxes? Because when you went to Orlando, I opened all my own. I have them right here. Oh, and I have one more on the shelf. But these ones I want to open up at some point. Well, if this is a quick video, maybe we'll tack those in at the end. Yeah. But if uh, this is like you know a. 20 minute video we'll save that for another yeah and maybe i'll even crack into some of mine i don't know if i told you this but i purchased non-hollows of the entire set oh yeah you did mention that i've never shown off i've never even opened it mm -hmm. i just have it in the box i mean i know it's there i cracked it just to make sure but i didn't like go through and look at them all yeah it might be fun uh after this to go to the original tops have you break your box yeah and then maybe fill out and just take a look at all the cards yeah that could be fun for sure all right, well, before we get into this box break, guys, if you're enjoying the channel, thank you for all the likes and the comments, and hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like, you could support us directly by going to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Yes, big shout out to all our patrons. We love you guys so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the support, and check it out. It arrived. <laughs> This is the Aura Advantage Black Lodge t-shirt. It's Twin Peaks inspired, but that is actually the Aura Wheel. The cosmic arrow points to the spirit because spirit has a strength over cosmic. Spirit and dark are strong against each other, so there's arrows going both ways, and you can follow the chart around to all the different Aura types and all the different advantages. It's pretty sweet little cheat sheet, and uh, I think it looks cool. Me too, and I like the shirt that you got. I like that. The, oh, yeah. This isn't like big. This is the, you know, it hangs pretty tight on there, and mm -hmm. uh, it's light. I think this is the American apparel lightweight. Yeah, it's the same supplier. I think they're called Bella, but okay. it's the same supplier that provides yeah. American apparel. It's got a and nice soft yeah, feel. And soft, the, stretchy. This is, yeah, the design is light. It's not like mm -hmm. it's like a mat that like, you know, like mm -hmm. a stamp. It's it's breathable. It's really comfortable. Yeah. I'm not normally a t-shirt guy uh, with stuff on it, but like I've mentioned, I just had to sport this because uh, you made it. So yep. thank you, bro. Also, if you guys want one, reach out. Let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. That's the best way, at Moldy Potions. And if you're a patron, I'll give you your Patreon you know, monthly contribution off of the t-shirt. I'm selling these for 25 right now, including shipping. So as long as you're in one of the lower tiers, mm -hmm. the top yeah. tier, top we don't, you already got it. Yeah, you got it. You got yeah. everything. You ought to win all the prizes every month. And thank you so much for your support to yeah. all of our patrons. Also, whoa, wait a second. We can do this now. Hey guys, I think <clears> you already know. Guess what? Uh, we're doing exclusive uh, content for Casters Society, and I'm sure some of you have already seen our videos pop up there in the past week. We just had to wait until the official announcement, and mm -hmm. now we're here. We so, are partners. We yeah. are partners with Casters Society. It's really exciting. We couldn't be happier to be yeah. working with them. Seriously. And we're going to be doing three videos a week. I'll be writing some articles, and we're going to try to keep things similar to Channel Fireball, but even more so, we're going to try to keep things very competitive, very much what you're going to be seeing at tournaments, what you're going to be dealing with at tournaments and then here on our channel we'll test those decks but we will also play around with some more you know meme fun oh, yeah. janky ideas because i know you guys love it and we're going to introduce uh playing some video games on the weekends which mm -hmm. is something that we just started to do together for the first time in really many yeah. years um so we got a streaming setup that we're testing out uh, you mm -hmm. might see us pop up in the next week or so here just to say hi and see if the cameras and the mics all work but eventually yeah we'll be uh yep. we'll be doing multiple games and mm -hmm. there's even some new card games that yeah. just got delivered that we're going to open up on the channel kind of weekends are going to be our thing to just you know do something new yeah. and uh keep switching it up and just show you what else we're into but for that MetaZoo content, you can still tune in here every week. We'll always have some type of game going on or some type of box break. And then, like you just said, if you're really interested in that more competitive style, go to Casters. They're going to have three games a week from us. And when we play those games, it's not just like one round, one video. Sometimes if it's a long one, sure. But we're trying to get as many as possible. So there's even been a couple videos so far where we play like three rounds in mm -hmm. one sitting. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot more content coming. Definitely go subscribe to Casters if you're not already ready. They are an absolute staple in the MetaZoo community, and we couldn't be happier. Totally honored to be working with them. Yes, we also don't allow takesy backsies on Caster oh, Society, yeah. which makes <laughs> whew, some, oh, some rough lessons to learn. Yeah, <laughs> this, uh, this ethereal, like, brotherly edit undo that we allow each other to do, mostly me, uh, 
it doesn't happen over there. We yeah. wanted to make it like a tournament. Um, we were doing it on Channel Fireball a little bit just to try to get those best games possible. That's something we've done for years, you know, playing decades of Magic. We let someone take it back to try to get like the best game and see if you can still win. But, you know, it, you can't you can't really do that because practice makes permanent and you're going to keep competing in the tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, I'm warming up to it. But first, I just have to realize that when I say past turn, it's really gone, guys. Mm -hmm. Like it is it yeah. is past. It's not. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. And I, oh, mm -hmm. or can I? Oh, uh, none mm -hmm. of that. Anyway, yeah. um, all right. With all that out of the way, shall we get into the Let's box do it. breaking Let's get into these treasures? OK, now, are we keeping separate collections? Your two, my two. Or are we doing what we've done before? Where if we get a crazy hit card, some type of chase card, I don't even know what they really are. Do we share that between the two of us? Well, I don't think there's anything like old scratch level in these packs. I don't think. But if we come across some sort of super secret rare, then I think, as always, we should split. Yeah, okay, that's kind of our thing. But otherwise, these is mine and them's is yours. All right. That sounds great to me. There you go. Let's uh, let's do a one for one at the same time. Mm hmm. Cool. All right. Show this off a little bit. The Wilderness Tops box. What would you want? Is there a card that you're like hoping for? No, because I really don't know this set. I want Stone Man and Okanto Dragon oh. and, and Snipe. Those are like my three. Really would love to get those cards. Oh, what's this on the side here? Uh, look for special inserts. Each box contains five packs with six cards. Mm -hmm. All right. And yep, same thing. There's your Okanto. So that's who you're going for right there. Ooh, yep, that is I, a sleek Okanto, looking Okanto. Yeah. Okanto, Snipe, and uh, what did I just say the other one? I forget. I wasn't listening, so I don't remember. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> let's start cracking packs, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man, this is so cool. The last Tops set really impressed me. I had no idea that you were going to get, like, the actual mini illustrated novels. Oh, yeah. You know, the illustrated novel cards and actual locations from the lore. It was far more than just MetaZoo Beasties. There was a lot going on. I think I'm going to... Yep, there we go. All right, so we got Selbyville the Swamp Monster. Selbyville Swamp Monster. And if nice. you flip it over on the back, oh, there he is. So I'm going backwards. Maybe flip. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to flip that. <laughs> Skunk Ape. Oh, oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> What's who up, did buddy? that alt art? <laughs> nice. Do you know who did it? Can you see the artist there? Oh, Brooms. Brooms. That's Brooms. Did Brooms Skunk do Ape. the original? Um, no, Poncho did the original Skunk Ape. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to move these off and we'll just start setting these down. Mm hmm. Cool. You got the Selbyville. You got the Skunk Ape. Wow. What a colorful playmat to get these colorful cards yeah, on. Yeah, right. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want a playmat, I think you already said that. We yeah. have them available. Just hit us up on Instagram or Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, Frozen Man, Spirit gorgeous. Sigil. I love it. Wow. Look at that dark. I love it, too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> there it is. That's what we're Ooh, talking about. Nice, dude. Chapter 3 cover. Battle yes. of Loveland Castle. That is sick. I, I want to collect them all. And... Uh, I don't know, maybe make magnets out of them or something. Mm, that'd be cool. Put them on the fridge. <laughs> dude. Whoa, <laughs> dude, we got a hollow. Is that a hollow? No, no, it's no. just a sick art piece yeah. of radioactive yeah, yeah, hornets. Yeah. It's just yeah. incredibly reflective. The printing is different than normal cards. Yeah. Also, we don't have the matte cases on, so they're really popping. Wow, look at that radioactive hornet. That is Man, that is so cool. One Man. of the best, one of the best new beasties in the game. I would not want to run into that in real life. Do you guys remember in the '90s when everyone was afraid of the killer bees that were going to invade the United States? Oh yeah, At that was in like the... 2000s even. Oh, did they come yeah. back? Yeah, they, they threatened a couple times. Mm -hmm. African killer bees. Michael Peckham, killer Michael Peckham. So good. <laughs> Nice lizard people. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome, awesome man. Wow. Is that one of the t-shirts? I love the art on these top yeah. cards there. It's such like next level art. They go a little, they crank it up just a little bit with all the art quality and all the line work. I just, well, oh, it really so feels sick. like something that you'd see in the illustrated novel. Now, you're not guaranteed a hollow, right? right. No, the hollows right. from what I understand are very rare. So there's my first pack right there. You I take think it the away. hollows are called first sighting cards or something. Okay. Do they have so alternate let's... art, or are they just hollow? Um, I we think don't really they're know. Just we don't really know. You guys let us know. We're just figuring this out with you. We got an Ozark Howler. Oh, nice. wow. Cool. Ooh, another sigil. Man, the sigils look so dope. Beautiful. Scorching Rod sigil. That's actually my favorite sigil right there. The Lightning sigil. Sam and Frogman card? What? Dude, what? Hold on. 
Dude, that's like anime style. That's like some special like team card right there. Sam and Frogman. Oh, look at Sam. He's having a rough day. Frogman's like, <laughs> keep your head up, boy. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Uh, speaking of that, we will be reading the illustrated novel. That's another thing that we're going to be bringing to the channel. We mentioned it a couple weeks ago. I know I was doing the recording, but the editing and the time and how much we use the computer for shooting, I just I can't keep up with it at the moment, guys. So we're going to start reading it together um, at least once a week, just so you guys can, uh, you know, enjoy the story along with us. Man, so cool. Spook light. Man, such good art Man. on these dudes. Seb, the all-powerful Seb. Dublin Lake Monster. I love this creature design with all like the garbage and random stuff and bones. Siobhan did that one good because she's the designer. The sock snake. And we got another Hornets. Nice. Man, I'm going to start using these as my Hornet tokens in the game. <sighs> oh, yeah, totally. That's a great idea. Snolly Goster. I now love Is that Snolly hollow? Goster. Um, it has it's a got black. Some, it got, it's got a border. It's yeah, got a it's little, got a little, hollow border. A so that's a hollow border. That's it right there. We got a hollow snolly goster. Okay. So do we have any where the full card is hollow, or is I don't that... think so. All right. I think that's it. So that's one of the chases, I guess. Again, guys, let Man, us know if we were getting awesome. this wrong. Uh, yeah, that is awesome. Snolly goster. The spike on the the spike on the snolly goster's back is used for skewering meat for later consumption. It slides across mud like a speeding torpedo. Oh, they have a rarity on them. Look, we have golds for the actual rares in the set. We have bronze for the commons in the set. I don't see an uncommon yet. Oh, there, skunk ape, you got an uncommon. So we actually have the rarities marked. That's pretty sick. Wow. Turbo Amazing. charge. Amazing. Ding bell summoning down lightning. <laughs> Doing a Thor. Oh, oh man. man. What is going Moth on? Mothman? Man, Frogman art? Come on, this dude. Is this is about. crazy. Oh, wow. Mothman, Frogman art? Badass. Whoa, dude. <sighs> what does that say on the back? Let's check it out. So this says... Can you read it from there? Sam, Mothman, and Level and Frogman all now have fates that have been intertwined at this point. Be it by choice or not, their paths have been cast together to save Cryptid Nation. <laughs> yes. Man. Wow. Mothman, Frogman card, Sam and Frogman card. So, I feel like we're hitting some good ones here. How far ahead did you read an illustrated novel? Because I stopped after the last page that I read on the first chapter. I don't know any of the lore from any of the, the chapter two on. I have no idea what happens. I've read. I've read chapter one and two. I need to read three and four. Well, stop. Yeah. Wait, because we're going to go back and read chapter two. We're going to okay. pick up page one, chapter two, probably next week. And uh, you and I will just share the reading so we can just enjoy it and discuss it together. That sounds good. Awesome. <sighs> Spring Heel Jack. Nice. Oh, badass. Yeah, Do you think that's poncho. a poncho? Oh, it's yeah, yeah, be. yeah. You just, you just feel it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Powerful poncho. And the Ohio Grass Man. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Who did that one? <laughs> Michael. Nice. <laughs> and one more. The schmooze. Awesome. The albino peanuts that flash you, blind you with their light, and then put you to sleep with their attack, or even when you kill them. So Very good. frustrating to face, although not altogether impossible to defeat. Okay, let's see what we got here. Next pack. Whoosh. Nice. Cumberland Spaceman. Oh, that's cool. And the art on these is so amazing. El Verde Entity. Wilderness. We got the Wilderness card. The actual Wilderness card. Who did this one? The Wilderness card? That's not a jackalope? No, it just says Wilderness on it. Let me see. Get yeah. up close there. Yeah, it just says Wilderness. Okay. But is that the jackalope? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's a jackalope, and but this, this isn't is the jackalope I... card. Oh, there you go. The wild is as beautiful as it is dangerous, but there's no reason to be afraid of it. As long as we work together, nobody has to get lost. This is Siobhan's design here as well. Man, so good. You can tell with the flowers and the butterflies. Very cool. Yeah. Battle over Loveland Castle. Dude, these cards, these event cards and stuff. What? How rare are these? How many of these are? You know, it's marked rare. What, what does that like, mean? Is he invisible? Yeah, he's he's got invisibility Man, cast on him right like now. These are like spoilers happening for us right now. A lot of <laughs> you probably already know because you've read all of them, but very, very cool. Man, Looking forward to seeing amazing. what happens in the actual story. We got another schmooze. The schmooze. And whoa, Mad Gasser. Oh, sick. what a badass. Wow. Get that closer to the camera so, so people can really see it. 
They're you need, so shiny. You need practice anyway. They're so shiny. You'll get it. Almost there. They're so you shiny. Gotta, you know, can, can you get the center of the frame? Keep it calm? Keep yeah, it collected. I don't know, man. It's an awkward angle for me. Really? I'm reaching across Just and up. Right there? There you go. You're right under it, though. Am I? Yeah. What if I go over here? Oh, would you look at that? I'm not sure what you're trying to prove right now. <laughs> it's just uh, it's too challenging for you. Sure. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Basically, any chance I get to poke fun at you, I'm taking. I understand. You know, you know. Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. The Deer Woman. Oh, right nice. On. Another sigil. Sigil, sick. We've we already one more. Run out of room here. Oh. Another Frogman's frog man. Reveal. Nice. Okay. Coming out of the shadows. Yeah, this has got to be some lore stuff that we just don't know about yet. Very cool. Who did this, Frogman? This was by Poncho. Oh, that's an interesting piece for Poncho. Nice. I'm so used to all of his pieces look like they're about to, like, you know, uh, powerfully destroy everything in their path. They're all so dynamic and, like, comic booky. Mm -hmm. That's more of, like, a low-key one, but I really like the, the shadow. How he's sitting deep mm -hmm. in the darkness, thinking. Poncho always has dynamic lighting in yes. his pieces. Yes, he does. And another spook light. Nice. God, I love the colors on that. Mario. And ooh, Frost ooh, Elemental. Wow. Nice. Oh, yeah. I wonder if there are any cool stained glass windows in this set. Maybe. Because we got the other tokens, right? The Hornets. Oh, no. Those are radioactive. Those the are official right. Hornets. Those aren't the tokens. Yep. You're just saying True. you use it that way for fun. Yeah. Woof. Nice. Oh, yeah. Spear, Spear finger. finger. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Kind of hate her. Definitely oh, I hate love her. her. You have to discard to attack, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And whoosh. and a blank card. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, I think that those are filler cards to keep the weight even with packs that like have special cards oh, in them. Oh, because I, I don't even know. Did I get a special in this? Is this the Snollygaster pack? No. No. I don't know. Whatever. Whoosh. All right, we've got a Cumberland Dragon. Nice. I'm just going to start layering these. Yeah, why not? Living Earth Sigil. So we've gotten all the sigils now. That's, oh, that's so cool. cool. Man, the art on that is amazing. That is so, oh, it's so shiny. That is so cool. I'll just do it, dude. There you guys go. <laughs> I mean, we're open them. We want them to see them. We got a Red Ghost Polaroid. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow, that's Amazing. interesting. So <laughs> maybe one of Sam's pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally, because he's all about that analog life. Banshee of the Badlands, mm -hmm. some Seb art right there, another lizard people, and a fur-bearing trout. This is one of my favorite designs that Kelsey has done. It's just the happiest beastie ever. Just so happy. Do you think Kelsey did that one? Um, That's Siobhan. Oh, nice. nice. Good one, Siobhan. All right. The Weeping Black Angel. Awesome. By the way, it helps if you choose an angle, like to exaggerate it, if to, to avoid that shine, if you cheat it that way or this way. Now mm -hmm. I'm exaggerating for effect, mm -hmm. but I kind of have it locked down. What is this? Germinate. Germinate. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it looks like a little creature walking. That's, That's awesome. awesome. I didn't notice Idaho that. Potato germinating. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Another red ghost <laughs> Polaroid. Beaver <laughs> shark. <laughs> That's a definite hit. Oh my god, look at that laugh. <laughs> River oh, yeah. Mermaid. River nice. Mermaid. Did I skip one here? I think I may have. Yep. One almost stuck together. Boom. Friendly snowman. Nice. Man, they're so clean. Oh, he's chucking a snowball right at so us. So clean <laughs> and beautiful. Right on. Next pack. So far, my favorite though are the lore cards, for sure. Yeah, they're awesome. Flipping. We got a friendly snowman. Ooh, I got a hateful demise. We got to hold oh, that one up. Oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing. There we go. Oh, Whoa. Man, so it's like good. Hadoukening. Yeah. Hadouken. So good. Wow. Um, This one's amazing. Proton Whoa. beam with... Who is that just the Ghostbusters? Bring it back here. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much just the Ghostbusters. Is that really... Are we sure? I mean... Like, as in, like, you know, Ray Stance, Egon Spangler? Known as the Proton Beam, this bolt of power would hold any cryptid in its place long enough to handle it, even the ever-so-powerful Mothman. So, I mean, I think we obviously have Sam Sinclair on here, and I guess that's probably John Henry, who's above him, but who's... Is that Joe Magarak, maybe? 
Uh, maybe. I feel like those are... I don't think they're Ghostbusters. Let me take a closer I look. I mean, they're obviously Ghostbusters. Come on. Oh, no. They're in the Ghostbusters outfit. But yeah. I don't think it's like, you know, Peter, Winston, No, Ray, no. I think it's Sam, John, and... Egon. And maybe the other John, Joe. They're just pulling some style. Also, those uh, proton packs almost look like Super Soakers from the 90s. Oh, they 100% look like Super Soakers from the 90s. There you go. Yeah. And then we've got an explosive rabbit. Nice, gorgeous. Jet, it's one of my favorite designs Jet has done. We've got another spear finger and another grass man. Nice. Okay. Uh, Snollygoster with the non-hollow on the border. Oh, this was a another hollow snowman. Sigil. Oh, well then show it off. Pop wow, it up there. I didn't even realize we got a hollow on the snowman. You see the borders, guys? That's oh, yeah. the hollow on these cards. Frosty. Frosty little friendly snowman. I like it. Uh, we've got that Sam and Frogman once again. I got my own copy now. We have the, oh yeah, the uh, the Billy Dad. Uh huh. What Bill a Dad. wacky creature, the mm -hmm. Bill Dad. Ooh, nice. The Mogolin Monster. And I think that's it. One more. Yep. And I got my own trout. Another fur bearing trout. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh huh. Okay. Well, we know we got a blank card in the back. Flipping over, we've got a Night Marchers. Man, that's so good. Another Starlight Sigil, Friendly Snowman. Sam versus Bigfoot. Okay, now hang on a second. We're gonna get this one right up there. Whoa. So Sam's got some sweet uniform on. That's wild. Wow. I need to know the lore. I wanna know what is going on here. I see Sam's baseball bat. Yeah, I don't know what Sam's outfit is. Let me take a close is. look at that. Let me see this. So it almost looks like, I think Sam just got knocked like hard. Thrown off a Bigfoot into a tree. Yeah, and he's yeah. losing his bat. Bigfoot just like shrugs him. Bigfoot looks dark, man. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's got to be a poncho, right? It has to be. I don't know. No. It's not. It's Seb. Nice. Yeah. Seb. Killer yeah, Seb. It's got Seb anime vibes. Oh, yeah. You're right. I should have known. With the hair. Mm -hmm. Their coloring is feel... very different. Yeah. You can feel Seb. It's like Chrono Trigger or something. <laughs> Rubberado. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, this is your pack, yeah. isn't it? I took yeah. it away from you. It's all right. And then there's, well, let's keep your card stacked on your side at least. I think we're mixing our sets together. Yeah, whatever. 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 That's okay. We're just going to collect them all. All right. We doing round two? Let's do it, man. Okay. I'm going to make this that go a little fun, faster. Man. These are so pretty. Yeah, they're beautiful. Very special. I love all the options Metazoo gives you. Mm -hmm. All right. We got the El Verde. We got the Sitchel. We've got Boom. Wow. Chapter four cover, man. Awesome. Yes. What does it say on the back? In this chat. Oh, no. We're not going to read that. Sorry, guys. I don't want that spoiler. It's enough to see what's happening and not understand it. I don't want the details yet. I'm the type of person who watches a movie trailer one time or a TV show trailer once, maybe. If I really want to see it, I won't even watch it. But when it intrigues me and I realize I'm going to inevitably watch this thing, I avoid all trailers. I avoid all clips. I even avoid like the, you know, next time on whatever. I, uh, I like to be surprised. Stay in a state of uh, ignorance until the entertainment officially hits. The Silver Mermaid and the Mad Gasser. I absolutely love this guy. I love yeah. the art. I love the idea of him. Now, did Seb do the original one as well? No, Pepper did the original one. Wow, this is an awesome take mm -hmm. on the Mad Gasser. Yeah, I love that. Love the colors. Very cool. All right. Well, we got a blank card in the back. We'll flip it over. Joe Magarak. So there's Joe looking very Street Fighter with his Zangief oh my chest piece. Joe's got abs. Got another Hateful Demise. Sick. Only two more for the playset. I don't look Cryptid Busters group. So this is our Ghostbusters. This is who we're talking about. Cryptid Busters group. Okay. Yeah, you're well, totally right. Amazing. Woo -woo. We've Did, got a Mogolin monster. There was a siren outside right when that siren... Did you hear that off yep. in the distance? That was very synchronistic. Lizard people and another spring heel Jack. I don't mean okay. my siren. I mean, I made a siren and then out on the road, a siren... I, yes, you hear it. Yes, I it's heard it. Out there. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chibi Cumberland. Come nice. in. Dragon. Ooh, my now you own. got a hateful. Hadouken. Hateful demise. Cryptid cloud shapes. Awesome. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Perfect wow. wilderness card. Cloud shaped cryptids. Hey, yeah. I got something crazy to ask everyone. I want more than just your opinion. If you guys go like this, this has nothing to do with Metazoo. This is just oh, no. nonsense. If you guys go like this and you put your palms in your eyes and you keep them there and you just kind of relax, like right now, 
I see all of these um, 90 degree angles, like like a checkerboard, but it's like warping. And I see it every time I do it. Just like light, squares, dark and bright. And then it eventually turns into colors. And I'm wondering if I'm like, like I should probably look this up on Google rather than just ask our audience randomly. I was just in my room doing it again. And I'm just blown away of the visuals of just being sober and pressing your palms into your eyes. I'm always messing with myself. And that was just the latest and uh, yeah. Very entertaining, very off subject. Back to the pack opening. You guys let me know. Do you guys get psychedelic shapes when you press your palms into your eyes? Gently, don't do it too hard. Uh, and just hold there. probably you just like popping light receptors. Yeah, I was wondering if I was messing with my cones because after it goes into this like warping black and white checkerboard, like melding and moving, then it actually goes to like green and like yellow and blue, like these streaks. It's really fascinating. All just from, Henry anyway, I'll shut up. <laughs> Yeah, way off subject. I wanted to ask you, but I forgot a couple days in a row. Uh, it's kind of been my thing in the morning after staring at the computer and doing all the editing. All right, Golden Bear. We've got that Midnight Lake Sigil. Beautiful. I got my yep. own frog, man. Nice. And I'm missing, hold on, sticking together. Yes. All right, another nice. Jumpin' Jack. Uh, Spring Hill Jack. Another Sock Snake, the Dublin Lake Monster. And another, another Hornet, Hornet token. Nice. Next pack, flipping. Ooh, I got my own Snolly. Sick. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We'll place that down there. Starlight Sigil, Chapter 3 cover, Fur Bearing Trout, White Screamer, and another Dublin Lake Monster. Nice. Oh, we got a hollow. Dude, you got a hollow unicorn. That's got to be one of the chases. That's very cool. Hollow unicorn, gorgeous, dude. Super pretty. Awesome. Who is that by? Shout out to Afton. Oh, yeah. Absolutely awesome. Oh, my gosh. She's going to freak out. We need to get that one signed. Another turbo charge. Another of oh, the man, frog man. Man. That's my second one. Another Jack Frost. Sorry. Uh, friendly snowman, I mean. Oh, yeah. The Billy Whack Ricola Monster. Nice. And Honey Island Swamp Monster. Killer. Wow. Whoa. Look at that art. That is nasty. I so love it. So good. Shout out to Seb. I was going to say, is that Seb? Killer. Wow, that unicorn, dude. Keep that one safe. That's definitely one to get signed by her. All right. I'll flip. We got a chibi Bigfoot. Adorable. Got another wilderness promo. Okay, cool. Chapter four cover. Yep. Rubberado. Cute little boy. Mad gasser. And a friendly snowman. All right, moving right along. We got the night marchers. Another sigil. Oh, yeah. Battle. Another battle yeah. at Loveland Castle with Invisible Sand. <laughs> Beaver Shark, Billy Dad, and ending Ooh, nice. with the Peninsula Python. Sick. Oh, and another. Okay. Another blank card. Yeah. All good. And that's it for me, man. All right. I've got Whitey, a Frozen Spirit Guide, another Sam vs. Bigfoot, a Spook Light, my own Honey Island, and my own Peninsula Python. And then I have one more here for some reason. Oh, I probably just doubled up moving quick. Unless mm -hmm. I knocked it off the table. I don't think so, though. Flipping over. Stone eating oh. guy, Scootus. Yes, dude. We That's got badass. him. Let me, let's we show this got off. him, my boy. <sighs> Whoa. So Who did that extremely one? Is funky. that actually Kelsey? It's probably Michael. My guess That's is that it's That's a very Michael. different style. I don't think it's Kelsey, but... <laughs> It's Kelsey. It's Kelsey. Yes. Oh, it's her beastie. That's so. so cool. Yes. Awesome. What a creation. Awesome. I love it so much. So funky. One of the weirdest. Absolutely love it. And we've got a turbo charge. Wow. Spirit storm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Maybe that's when they're all around the radio tower. That's like Probably Sam. Not something further in the. Lore, yeah. It's got to be something further in the lore. Yeah. I'm not really sure what that is. Yeah. I don't think so. And then a Cumberland Spaceman, a Banshee, and a Billy Whack. Let me take a close look at this. Well, it's got Ghost Deer riding off in the background. He's like leading the... That's Red Ghost. Uh, Spirit Storm. Uh, thank you. Red Ghost, I meant to say. So, this was not the radio tower. I no. want to kind of take a peek, but... Nope. No spoilers. Nope. No trailers. We'll be reading it soon enough, guys. Wow. Well, I think the pool of the day is your unicorn. I mean, that's crazy. And the hollow is like this iridescent silver rainbow hollow. I mean, wow. wow. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> what does the unicorn say on the back? The unicorn says, 
You know what this is. This is darkness. Long ago, unicorns freely roamed the land. Now they must fight back against those that wish to steal the magic of their horn. Nice. Which is why I always do the uh, legend, you know, darkness, mm -hmm. Tim Curry. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, sit and eat with me. Drink and talk with me. I will slay the unicorn. And then he's like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Right. he's like super turned on by the fact that she's, well, I won't spoil it, guys. Go watch Legend if you haven't seen it. Yeah, it's absolutely classic. amazing. Tom Cruise, Tim Curry, and all the prosthetics that they did for Tim, it put him like with the horns, like 13 feet tall. He had on giant hooves. It was wild. Totally awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, man. I think that was really fun, though. Wow, these Wilderness Tops cards are absolutely gorgeous. We will save the other Tops opening for another time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe, like I said, we'll bring the full set out and just go through the cards. And maybe what we'll do is we'll actually wait until we get a little further into the lore, so that way we can comment on some of these cards, like the scenes and the story, rather than just wondering and, you know, being afraid that we're going to spoil something for ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We'd love if you, you know, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for the likes and the comments. We really appreciate Appreciate all the support. And if you'd like to support us directly, you could go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Yep, we'd super appreciate it. Much love to all you guys who are our patrons already. And even those of you just watching this channel and yes. commenting. It <laughs> Thank means you guys. so much. All the interaction. It's amazing. Love you guys. Also, go check out Casher Society because like we said, we're going to be doing a ton of content for them. And oftentimes we play multiple games in a video. So there'll actually be more MetaZoo content on their channel moving forward. And we're going to keep still doing MetaZoo here. Gameplay box breaks and deck techs but we're also going to be starting to incorporate some different stuff like video games on the weekends and like that uh testing out that sorcery game that just arrived that you were pretty excited about soul forge oh, soul forge soul forge sorcery Sorry. is a different game right yeah, yeah. soul forge mm -hmm. i'm excited about it sorcery too uh it hasn't shipped yet sorcery ships later this year but do we go in on that we have some sorcery coming yeah. okay yeah. all right so yes soul forge just arrived we're gonna check it out and if we think it's worth playing we're gonna definitely set a weekend aside and just show off the game the cards look absolutely beautiful it's a very different art style than metazoo it's kind of that classic dungeons and dragons magic the gathering like very serious and paintings yeah. and stuff like that but just as cool and we're fans of all art so uh yeah you should be seeing that shortly in the next week or two yeah i'm excited to try that it's actually a game by Richard Garfield, the maker of Magic the Gathering. He teamed up with another game maker who I think the I think the Justin who made Ascension, which is another really popular free-to-play awesome PC game. But yeah. I'm excited about this. Soul Forge looks awesome. The mechanics of the game are very different from MetaZoo, but they just look so clean and fun and diverse. There's a lot of combos. There's over 15,000 card variants in the first set. I mean, it's we're talking crazy, like a million different deck combinations. So, That's wild. Their yeah. very first set, they released 15,000 cards. Yeah, it's going to be an experience. I can't wait to try it. it. It's not like any other card game. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. Thanks again. And mm -hmm. we will see you next time on Meta Bros. Later, guys. Later. Yeah.